Adding and subtracting fractions cannot be avoided if you are using the inch based units for measuring length. In this video I'll show you how to add and subtract fractions using standard arithmetic procedures and I will show you a modified version how you add fractions that appear on the measuring tape fast on the job. That means that on the job most often you have no paper and no pencil to write the numbers down with and most importantly you don't have half a day to figure out your details and the intricacies of uh, fraction additions. So I'll show you how to do fraction addition and subtraction on the job really fast and accurately. Let's get started with the standard procedure. Let's add the fractions one third and one fourth. Now if you remember uh, and please remember that these fractions cannot be added as they are because they are in different formats. They have different denominators. This part here, this bottom number is the denominator and this top number here is the numerator. Now, since these fractions cannot be added, life doesn't stop. These fractions must be reformatted to be able to add them. The fastest way is if you multiply the numbers in the denominators in the fractions. 3 times 4 is 12, so the new denominator for both of them will be 12. This whole fraction of one third should be upscaled and to have the same value as before it had, as before, but this time expressed in twelfths. To do that, you have to determine how many times did the denominator get upscaled. But in this time, it got upscaled by a factor of uh, let's go blue, a factor of four because four times three equals twelve. So for the original fraction to preserve its value, you have to upscale the numerator on it also four times. And the numerator here is one, so four times one is four. In this way, the fraction of four twelfths is the same, has the same value as the fraction of one third. It's been reformatted and upscaled numerically, but preserving its original value. The same has to be done to the fraction of one fourth, otherwise known as quarter. One quarter. It has to be upscaled without changing its value, and to do that, you have to determine how many times did must the denominator be greater in order to have both fractions on the same denominator. To do that, you have to upscale the fraction by a factor of 3. You must do the same to the, denom to the uh, numerator if you did it to the denominator. 1 by 3 is 3. The new the numerator for the fraction is 3. So this fraction, 3 twelfths, has the same value as 1 fourth, but it's been upscaled and reformatted so that the similar formats now can be added. To finish the addition, you write down your fraction line and fill in the, numer the denominator, and then we add the numerators. 4 plus 3 is 7. The answer to the question, what is the sum of a third and a fourth? is 7 twelfths. That's the answer to the question. Now let's take a look at a uh, fraction subtraction really fast.
last year, how about uh, 3 fifth minus 2 seventh? In this situation, the two fractions are uh, also incompatible, they have different denominators, they cannot be subtracted as is, they must have the same denominator. To do that, the fastest way, one of the fastest ways is multiply them together, 5 by 7 is 35. 35 is the new denominator for both of them. We have to reformat the fraction 3 over 5 and you have to determine how many times should the numbers in it be greater to be expressed in 30 fifths. Well, the answer to that one is 7 fold. The denominator got 7 times greater, so the numerator has to become 7 times greater. 7 times 3 is 21. In the other fraction, 2 seventh, we do the same thing. You have to determine how many times the denominator has to become greater in order to be expressed in 35th. And the answer to that one is 5. So if the denominators got 5 times greater, so must the numerator be 5 times greater. 5 times 2 is 10. Now we can proceed with the subtraction. And the answer will be expressed in 35th. Now we subtract the numerators. 21 take away 10 is 11. The answer to the question, what is 3 fifths lessened by 2 sevenths? The answer is, it is 11 35ths. End of the story here for standard arithmetic procedure for addition and subtraction involving fractions. Now the fractions on the tape measure are particular. They are eighths, sixteenths, quarters, halves, maybe thirty seconds, sixty-fourths, because drill bits do come in sixty-fourths. For this demonstration here, we will work with uh, halves, quarters, eighths, and sixteenths, and also whole numbers. Let's do a fraction addition here. What is the sum of one and a half plus one sixteenth plus three eighths plus uh, I don't know uh, two and seven sixteenths plus um, five eighths? To answer this question fast. We will use the edge of the tape measure here, magnified on the board. In a standard math class, you would need to do convert. You would need to convert all of these and reformat all of these numbers and express them into sixteenths, and that takes a lot of time. For example, one over two is also a mixed number. You have to make an improper fraction out of it. One is the same as sixteen sixteenths and half is the same as 8 sixteenths then you have to add them there and uh, 16 plus 8 is 24 sixteenths so one and a half is the same as 24 sixteenths and you have to do the same with 3 eighths reformat it into sixteenths 2 and 7 sixteenths also needs to be uh, expressed as an improper fraction where the tops are greater than the uh, numbers on the bottom. And 5 eighths also needs to be changed. It takes at least 5 minutes to do it. It takes way too long for a job site. Okay, and you need paper and pencil for it and you don't have it on a job site. It's raining and it's wet probably and you have to get it figured out now. So this is what you do on a job site. Forget that part and just start here at the zero. 
Okay, that's important. That you start at the zero. Let's look at the first term, inch and a half. So you go one inch and a half. Here is your one inch part, and here is the half inch part. So you're there. And this is how you do it. You start here, and you hold your nail on the on this line where you end up, inch and a half. And you put you <coughs> you put your fingernail here and you dig in a little bit. And make sure that your eye doesn't shift away from the line that which uh, you're supposed to keep your eye on. So that's the one and a half inch portion. Next one, let's pick a big number. Uh, how about three eight? Three eight sounds good. Let's go. One eight, two eight, three eight. You dig your fingernail in there. This was the three eighths of an inch distance. Next one. Oh, why don't we do? <clears throat> why don't we do five eight? One eight, two eight, three eight, four eight, five eight. Okay, I'm liking it because we ended up on an easy line that's easy to keep an eye on. It's the two and a half inch mark. So this was the five eight part. Now from five eight, let's go two and seven sixteenths. Say one inch, two inch, and seven sixteenths here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sixteenths. There. Seven sixteenths taken care of together with its two inch. One inch, one inch, and the seven sixteenth. Now we have one more sixteenth to go up. We can make it. And we ended up there. Ta-da! It just happens to be exactly five inches. And all these fractions, all these fractions can be added this way in under 15 seconds. Okay, that's how it works. Let's take a look at a uh, fraction subtraction problem. So let's subtract from four and a half, two and three eighths, and let's subtract from that one sixteenth of an inch, and subtract an additional inch and a half, and subtract an additional three eighths of an inch. Now normally, it would take 15 minutes to figure this one out, or a, a long time. We can do this instead of 15 minutes, in about 15 seconds. Let's start at four and a half here. Four and a half inches is where we start. You dig your fingernail in there. Two and three eighths is the first uh, measurement to take care of. One inch, two inch, one eight, two eight, three eight. There, dig your fingernail in there. It doesn't matter which line it is at, just dig your fingernail in there. Two and three eight, taken care of. And we started at four and a half. Next measurement, uh, why don't we go inch and a half? Because uh, that way it's easier to spot the greater amount. And uh, it's easier on your eye. So let's go one full inch. So that's two and one eighth. Let's go one and one eighth. That's the one inch part and a half an inch. We'll go one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths. Four eighths is half an inch. Because I don't want to get lost with the number of eighths. I want to go inch and a half as inch and four eighths. Here is one inch and here is the half inch part. And we ended up there. We have, to, uh, <coughs> we have to subtract an additional 3 eighths of an inch from this measurement. So we go 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, and you dig no fingernail in there. And from this measurement, it has to be an additional 1 sixteenth of an inch subtracted. So we ended up there, 1 sixteenth of an inch less than anything else. And now you take a reading on your tape, and the last we ended up at the 316th mark. 
So, this is how to do adding and subtracting of fractions on the job site accurately without paper, without pencil, with nothing written down, only the final answer considered. Keep practicing until you're good at it and, you're, and you can do this fast.